Tonight, I, I said we were going to start a, a new series of messages, and I got the idea. Uh, I was just thinking, I was praying and reading through the Word, and, and uh, the, the, the thing I got was wisdom for dummies, because we're all like born, we're all born dummies. I don't know if gets offended at that, but it's as much, it's as much for me. Excuse me? Hmm? Uh, I, I swiped it off the internet. <laughs> It was a wisdom for thieving dummies, but I don't know if it's copyright or not. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, how many people, and well, let me first, I w- I'd like to read a, a definition of wisdom, because when we talk about wisdom, people have a different idea of that, and we're going to learn here in a little bit, but uh, this, is a, this is from a, uh, in a, uh, a dictionary. It says, wisdom is the quality or state of being wise knowledge of what is true or right, coupled with just judgment as to action, discernment, or insight. So wisdom isn't just knowledge, it's, it's knowledge and how to use it. It's, it's using knowledge. You, know, you can learn a lot of different things, but if you don't learn how to use it, it's just, just a, lot of, you know, a lot of knowledge. Uh, scholarly knowledge or learning, the wisdom of the schools, the wise sayings and teachings. Well, when we talk about the book of Proverbs, the word proverb means like a witty saying. Now, how many people have heard stuff like a stitch in time saves nine? You know, and uh, a penny saved is a penny earned, right? That's, that was, I think, Benjamin Franklin came up with a lot of those witty little sayings. And there are sayings that they make sense, a common sense, but sometimes when you repeat them to yourself, you, you know, they kind of sink in and sometimes they don't. Um, the book of Proverbs is, is part of what's called wisdom literature. It starts with the book of Job and goes all the way through the uh, book of the Song of Solomon. And it's in, there are books containing words of wisdom about life and about our relationship with God. There are really many, many topics in the book of Proverbs. And we're not going to look like verse by verse by verse because we'd be there for a long time. And there's really no organization of topics. Like there'll be one thing on money and one thing on your mouth and one thing and so forth. So we're going to make a topical study over these next uh, several weeks through the book of Proverbs. Because basically everything in the book of Proverbs deals with stuff that was just as as true 3,000 years ago as it is today. Things haven't changed. God is still God. Truth is still truth. Man and women are still men and women. Uh, The the world is still the world. Money, economy, nothing has changed. We have a different look to it. We have different uh, levels of technology. But it's still what worked 3,000 years ago is going to work today. It has nothing to do with specific knowledge of how to, how to use certain things, but it has to do with wisdom is, is how we act and react with one another to God and in certain circumstances. And the book of Proverbs is just full of, of pithy sayings, information that deals with a lot of different topics. It, deals, uh, it, it, it speaks to wise men and to fools, to princes and to paupers. It, it speaks about God, about vice and virtue, money, relationships, communication, work, leadership. Every topic that you could encounter, every situation that you can encounter in daily life today is the same thing they would encounter back then. Of course, they wouldn't do it on Facebook, but it's the same kind of stuff. And so the wisdom back then is just as good and just as important and just as uh, 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 relevant as uh, it would be today. So, uh, okay, now, how many of you ever said this? Go to the next. How many of you ever said this? If you get clicked to the next. If only I knew then what I know now. How many have ever said that? And I think the longer you've been around, the more you say it. Now, we, you know, when I was, when I was young, I thought I knew everything. Anybody feel that way? You know, we have people of varying ages here, some older, some younger. And, and when I was young, I figured, I, I thought my, my dad was the stupidest person. I did. You know, some old, he was an old hick of like country and western music, and he didn't know nothing about anything. He was just an old truck driver, worked over the mill, you know, just an old mill hunk. And I ended up being an old mill hunk just like him. I didn't drive a truck. You know, I did. And I ended up starting to realize that, you know, I, start, you know, I started to agree with him about it. It was scary. I said, well, Dad, you were right. <laughs> you know, 
Because when you're young, I think it's just a general thing where when, when young people coming up, they think that they know more than their parents. They think their parents are old-fashioned and outmoded and everything. And when they get to that, they get to a certain age where they start looking around saying, wow, you know, he was right about this or she was right about that. And when, you know, it's too bad that we can't plug in that mindset when we're kids. But I, I was reading somewhere where they say our brains don't really fully develop until we're about 25 years old. And especially the lobe that deals with uh, judgment and making decisions, that's like, that's like the last thing, that's the last thing to come around. So we've got to wait till we're, we're around 30 before we, after we make all the stupid mistakes we make. And, and, you know, I look back on my life, and I was one of those kids, you know, all kids are like that, but I was one of those kids, if, if somebody told me to turn left, I would go right. I, just to show them I could do it. I, I just, that's just the way it was. Nobody was going to tell me what to do. Uh, and I thought I knew better, and I found out as time went on, you know, you find out that, hey, you know, you're not so smart. And uh, anyway, the book of Proverbs is a book full of things that try to teach us wisdom. I, I wish I would have read it when I was 15 or 16 years old and really grasped it. I, you know, some of those things that people would t say way back when that I thought was stupid. I, I wish I could say this just like I could say this. I wish I knew then. Or let me change that. I knew it then, I just didn't believe it.